All right, we're back out here on the mistress. I'm gonna try and complete some of the measurements and uh, see where we get to. I've already done a few measurements on cylinder six, but I'm gonna repeat them. Three point three nine seven on the ridge, which is kind of close to what we uh, had seen in the past. I guess if these are if these are relatively accurate, there's a ten thou difference between the ridge and the bottom. Now there is another sort of ridge on the bottom where the um, Top of the piston never really scrapes, but um, well, let's just let's just see. I don't know. We'll analyze later. I'm trying to remeasure the ridge too because I had only ever done cylinder six, not any of the others. Three point three nine seven. It's the same as it is on the other ridge. So that's good. All about consistency. Three point three nine nine. Pretty close to the uh, advertised, well, the uh, the real bore, which is 3.4. Uh, that middle one said 3.421, which is more like the numbers I would ex well, I would expect it to be larger than it started out as not. So I, I don't think I'm also getting fully accurate things here, but in context, it'll help us. I'll speed some of this up because it's like watching paint dry. But... Some of these numbers are so close to uh, the constructed diameter that I can't really believe it to be true. And then there's a couple of outliers there on the other side of things. The engine's old enough that it really should be there should be more aware I do have that uh, fluid film in here or whatever which but I don't think that's I don't think it, it's getting out of the way as I use it so I don't think that that's adding I don't think it's viscous enough for that to be as I've discussed before these tools are not of high precision but they're all I got Okay, there's much more analysis to do. Um, I really only have been scratching the surface here. But at least I've got all the measured numbers in front of me and I can try to figure out uh, what it all means. Generally though, all these numbers are inside of the 3.4 advertised manufactured diameter. And that doesn't make any sense. They should all be, all the numbers essentially should be over 3.4 somehow due to wear. So I really do have a feeling uh, there's only about four numbers on this whole list. Yeah, about four numbers that are at 3.4 exactly or beyond. Um, on cell number number five, at the halfway, uh, we got 3.421, which I could, which I would consider to be quite a bit more wear than I would have expected, but uh, like the, you know, 21,000 or whatever, is, is, that, that'd be pretty big. Um, so that's the highest of the numbers, and then there was one that was dead on 3.400. So 
There was one that was four thou over, one that was two thou over. Um, all these other 3.399, and like I don't know how it could ever be that. It doesn't make sense. Even if they were not, they can't underwear. They can't. So, yeah, uh, I have to take all the numbers with a grain of salt. The only thing that this allows is some kind of comparison between them, and I'll start to look for trends on taper, but like say if I can't trust the numbers, the taper thing is, isn't going to work out so good. I would need I would need much, much better tools. Um, they make tools kind of specifically for that as well, but uh, they're quite costly, and I probably won't ever have one of those. So I gotta, you piss with the cock you got. And, uh, yeah. So I did um, make a spreadsheet here, just a quick one. Um, I kept the numbering the same, six back to one. That might, you know, bother some weird people, but um, that's just the way that I, because of how it's on the stand and everything, that's just the way I've been tackling it. Um, the averages <clears throat> aren't all that useful, but I wanted to see for average inside, I wanted to see what the average bore was across all those four measurements. It doesn't do much. It doesn't really tell you much. Um, but it was, you know, it was easy to calculate that. And then I've got one <clears throat> of the averages across <clears throat> all the different cylinders on that, <clears throat> and in that particular measurement point, like on the top ridge, it's an average of all the numbers across the cylinders. Um, so there's like, you know, whatever, 10 thou between the uh, um, ridge and, and quarter across the, the way. Uh, then it's only one, and then it's two two more. So, um, you know, just a little spread there, but uh, nothing hyper whack. Same thing, it doesn't really tell us a whole lot, uh, except for whatever consistency there might be, or average consistency across uh, all of them. Um, they're all relatively similar when you compare them all down, but, uh, so anyway, that's the start of my numbers. Um, I have some other ideas for how I might kind of, uh, calculate a, uh, bore taper, uh, just based on what I have here, but, um, I just, I haven't worked out the equation yet. And, uh, I might need more data points too, uh, just with the four of them, especially because we know we're including a ridge, which is kind of outside anyway. Uh, not a very useful number because the piston never even hits that spot. Um, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, I, I'll be uh, doing this over the next little while and uh, I'll probably have some um, secondary follow-up to this and let you know what the results are. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk soon and uh, yeah, some other videos coming soon. Alright, talk soon. Bye.